Hello and welcome. Today we're unboxing the Ancestry DNA Kit. So let's get down to it. We've got a two pack here. So let's take a look at the box. Here's the Ancestry box, the front. And here's the back. It says ready to begin your DNA story. It's easy to get started. And it says register your kit, collect your saliva, return your sample, and explore the results. And detailed instructions are on the reverse side. And here is a, a link. That's Ancestry DNA. The side of this box, there's nothing. Up here, no code. Nothing else. So let's take one of these and open it up. And here is a tear off. Perhaps you can see that angle. The first step is to register your kit and scan a QR code. And then we have spit in the tube, install the cap, shake, tighten the cap, and shake to release the stabilizing fluid. And uh, then all we have to do is go ahead and return your sample to the address. Let's take a look at what's in here. And here is what looks like the Ancestry package. Ah, here it is on the other side. We can see a little plastic container to spit. There's a blue liquid, it looks like, in here. That's probably in the cap. The cap releases it. And there's a little warning in there. Everything in the package. Now here are the contents of the package. We've got the sample tube and the instructions say to basically fill up to this line with spit. And then you can remove this cap here. And then we use this cap, cap covers here, to tighten it. And this blue liquid inside, this blue liquid in there, will release into the tube and shake it for five seconds. So we'll fill this tube and be back. Now we've got this filled to about that. It says up to that without the bubbles. So I'm just checking that to make sure. Yep, so up to that point, and the bubbles are above that line. And now we need to put the cap on, so we take this top off, drop it off here. We take this cap, look at it. There's nothing we can do here. This is the side with the connector. So we put that on. Just take a look at it here. And let's go ahead and tighten it, and resistance, that's as tight as I can get it, and now shake it for at least five seconds, they said, that's shaken, and when I look at it now, we can see that it's slightly blue tinted, so this is ready to go, now the instructions say, go ahead and insert it, into this package here, because it's a biohazard thing. And then we need to put the box back together to make this all work. So this is in here. Return your sample, place the sample in the prepaid mailing box. But now once it's in, samples in there, caps here, slide that back in. And close that. Close the lid and remove the 3M packet. Then we can seal the cap. So let's go ahead and do that. Close that. It's sealed. There it is, ready to go to the USPS. And now, let's take a look at the registration process. There's a QR code, we select that, and then we get to fill out the form. I'm registering the kit for myself, and then here's the process. Link the kit, 
add some information about you, adjust the settings, provide some consents, and you're ready to go. Now, to link the kit, what we do is we go to this page, and we need to enter the code that's in the package. It's a long code, and it's intended to identify you. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is where we enter the code and I'll mask it. So once we've entered the code and we are ready to move forward, here's the next screen. It asks you what country you're registering this kit in. So I'll pick the US for me. Then it asks you for your name and date of birth and gender. Then it asks you whether it's your first time or you're coming back to do a repeat test, whether you have an identical twin, I'm not, whether you've had a bone marrow or stem cell transplant from another person, and of course, is anyone else in your household submitting their DNA sample too? So it's a lot of questions to answer. And then we move on to settings. And when we get to settings, you get to participate in certain things. For example, DNA processing consent. You need to give consent for them to process it. Next one is whether or not they can keep a sample of your DNA on file. And I did not give consent for that. And then whether or not you want to participate in research. And that's another one you have to make a choice on. I didn't give consent on that. And then it gives you a summary of your data to validate. And once you've validated it, you can say, looks good and register. And that gets you registered. I selected text updates. So I provided them with a phone number that they could text. And there you are, the registration's complete. At this point, there are offers on a number of packages you can sign up for. And these are very optional. We'll scroll through this and let you take a look at it. This will help you find family members in other places, but it'll also help other family members to find you. And so you get notifications saying that you can trace your family back to the 14th century in some cases. And it's $1 for three months. And then there are questions about why you took the DNA test. And it gives you the following options. Learn about my background, build a family tree, find biological family members, etc. And then we can take a look at some example results. Once we have our results back, this is what it'll look like. It'll identify your ancestral regions, provides a breakdown, and a lot of information. Now, when we get our results back, we'll go ahead and share that on the video too. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.